Hello guys, this is uh, Dr. Panlepan Manikam. In this video, we're going to see about the heart damage after COVID vaccination. Let's see what are the vaccines involved, how concerning it is and what should we do. Let's dive deep into it. So myocarditis is an inflammation of the heart muscles. Your heart is essentially red and angry. Researchers have found out that this happens after the new mRNA vaccines like Pfizer and Moderna and especially in young males between 12 to 24 years of age. This inflammation is not because of the numerous heartbreaks that they had because they are teenagers. That is love. That's a different department. We are not here to argue between 90k kids versus 2k kids. When this myocarditis happens, most of the patients don't even know that there is say, inflammation going on because there will be no symptoms at all. Even if there is some, there will be very mild symptoms like mild chest pain, shortness of breath or swelling of legs. It usually happens within 10 days after the vaccine dose. In very rare cases, it can lead to heart attack in very remote possibility. The myocarditis heart is exactly similar to the heart of the Indian cricket fans when they play Kenya. Most of the times they are very happy but in very rare cases they can develop a heart attack when India lose to Kenya similar to what happened in 2001 Port Elizabeth. So let's see what caused this myocarditis. I'm going to tell you a shocking and a surprising news. So both the virus and the vaccine can cause this myocarditis. Fortunately, it is only with these newer mRNA vaccines like Pfizer and Moderna and it does not happen with other vaccines like Johnson & Johnson, AstraZeneca, Covishield, Covaxin and Sputnik. So virus causing heart inflammation is well known but the vaccine causing myocarditis is not well known. We are asking the vaccine, you too Brutus? COVID viral infection can cause heart inflammation in three different ways. The most common way is that it causes pneumonia, causes lung damage, which decreases the oxygen content in the heart, which makes it difficult to pump. There is a quote called love is in the air. With myocarditis, the heart itself will be in the air. The second way it can cause heart inflammation is through the cytokine storm, which can affect heart, kidneys and brain. My friend Saravna Kumar is talking up food, water and a two-way radio thinking that the cytokine storm is a tropical storm. The third way is that COVID infection can cause small blood clots in the blood vessels supplying the heart and the circulation is completely blocked. In this generation, they get a heart attack even if they get blocked in WhatsApp. So these three ways of causing myocarditis through a COVID infection is well known in the last one year. But in the last two to three months, we have figured out that Newer mRNA vaccines like Pfizer and Moderna can cause heart inflammation in a very very small number of patients not like the TV channel blowing it out of proportion even the COVID vaccine itself will come and say hey, So on May 10, 2021 FDA have issued emergency use authorization for Pfizer vaccination for kids between 12 to 15 years of age. As of June 23rd, 2021, there have been 323 cases of myocarditis and this has absolutely happened mainly after the second dose of the vaccine and most of them were hospitalized and this was mainly in the young males between 12 to 17 years of age in particular. So this risk is only in young males and the absolute risk is 1 in 15,000 after the second dose of the vaccine compared to the 1 in 5,000 risk for a COVID virus induced myocarditis. This does not happen in females that much. Similar data have been observed in Israel as well. I hope Israel government thinks that myocarditis is because of the vaccine and not Palestine. With this caveat, few countries have decided not to vaccinate young kids. UK advisors have decided against vaccinating kids less than 18 years of age. Netherlands and Germany have decided to vaccinate kids only if they have a pre-existing health condition. Let's see who is right, who is wrong. Our channel is going to be the Natamai determining the right decision. My friend Saravna Kumar is like, Natama, Tirpa Mati Solu. Inno Tirpe Solulada, I am potato. So let's see the facts. Number one, it always happens after the second dose of the Pfizer vaccine. This brings up the question whether the dosage might be a little bit stronger for these young males between 12 to 17 years of age. Number two, we also know that with one dose of Pfizer vaccine, the rate of hospitalization is decreased by 90% for these young kids and also protective against these newer variants like Delta. 
So number three, when COVID infection happens in kid, the dreaded complication of multi-system inflammatory syndrome, MISC, happens in any kid. Either it can be healthy kid or a kid with an existing risk factor. But the bulk of the hospitalization happens only if the kid has a pre-existing illness like allergy or any other autoimmune diseases. And more importantly, number four, the risk of myocarditis after vaccine is entirely by chance. It doesn't matter whether the patient is healthy or has any risk factors. Healthy adolescent male who are at very low risk of severe COVID infection can also get myocarditis through this Pfizer vaccine. And number five, still the risk of vaccine induced myocarditis is extremely low. And even if myocarditis happens, most often the symptoms are self-limited. Nothing will happen. It is just that the risk is slightly more prominent in young males in particular between 12 to 17 years of age. So what will I do if it was my kid? If I have a daughter more than 12 years of age, I will not worry about this at all. I will vaccinate her completely with two doses. If I have a son, who has any pre-existing health condition, I will not worry about it. I will vaccinate her completely with two doses. If I have a son between 12 to 17 years of age and if he is healthy, I will just do one dose because I know that it will provide at least 90% of hospitalization protection and I'll also mitigate the risk of this myocarditis which is very prominent in this young male population. My friends, I don't know, come on, it's like, Dave, how many kids do you have? Dave, what example? I don't want you to panic if you have received all the two doses of Pfizer already because the risk of myocarditis is extremely low still and it will happen only within 10 days after the second dose. If you don't have any symptoms and if you're doing great, you don't have to worry about this at all. I also want to emphasize that this is only for young males. For adults, there is no question about it. Benefits outweigh the risk of vaccination. Please proceed with vaccination as soon as possible. This is just in young males where the risk of COVID infection might not be that high and also the risk of myocarditis might be more prominent in this young males between 12 to 17 years of age. This is a situation where one size might not fit all. This is not similar to buying a longer pan size for a five-year-old kid thinking that he will grow up eventually. As I have mentioned to you before in this channel, it is my duty to let you know when there is any prominent side effect of this vaccine, even though the numbers of myocarditis is extremely low, even after this report, I think that this is slightly more prominent in this young male population. So it is better to stick with one dose of vaccine right now until we figure it out later with the reports available. I have been saying all along that the Pfizer company did not give any money to me at all to start with and after this video, they might come and take money from me. My friend Saravna Kumar was like, what are you talking about, pal? I have a 15-year-old son who just got the second dose of Pfizer vaccine. If he gets heart disease, how will I get him married? How will I get the dowry? How will I build a mansion? Just one minute silence for all the to-be daughter-in-laws for all these Saravna Kumars. I said, day. Hey, you will not get a daughter-in-law. You will be standing in front of the law. Yet then the corona pandemic went down and